Today, in this video, we are going to wire up the drive OK circuit for the centroid acorn. And I am reusing the wiring diagram acorn rev 3 standard connections. And the reason why I'm using this diagram instead of the lead shine diagram is because this one actually shows the full drive OK circuit. And the reason why you want to do this is you can actually use the acorn to uh, monitor the status of your drives. Uh, if one of the drives has a fault, you can trigger an alarm that will stop your CNC program. This is important. I'll tell you why. So let's just suppose you don't have a uh, fault circuit wired up. Let's say your CNC machine is running and it's doing its thing. Let's just suppose that you have some sort of intermittent problem that makes your z-axis stop working. So the, you're, you're you know, milling, you're cutting a pocket, or you're running a boring bar, whatever, and all of a sudden your z-axis stops working and the tool's down inside the work. Well, the, the software thinks it retracted the tool out of the work, but the drive is down. It never physically moved the tool. Well now, after you retract z, the next thing you do is move x or whatever to go to a clearance position. Well, you're going to do that with the tool buried inside the part, and you're going to have a pretty bad crash. Where, if you had an alarm signal wired up, you know, your, uh, your program would have stopped and you wouldn't crash your machine. So that's what we're going to wire up. So what you'll see here is on input 5, we have drive OK. And what you do is you basically you run this circuit where you come through... You know, in the diagram, they show a VFD, drive OK. Then you come out, you know, your first stepper drive, drive OK. Your second drive, drive OK. Your third drive, drive OK. Fourth, drive OK. And then finally, you return back into common. So what you do is you wire up this big uh, loop, and you make all of these circuits normally closed, right? So when the VFD is happy, it's closed. When drive number one is happy, it's closed, you know, so on and so forth. So that means when everything is good, this circuit's closed and the acorn will run. If anything along the way breaks the connection, it could be any one of these drives. If anything breaks the connection, it triggers the alarm signal. So you won't actually know what triggered it. You'll, but you'll know something happened. And then you, you know, you open up your electronics cabinet and you look for the drive that's flashing red or whatever and and you'll know what to fix so this is uh this is how you do it now in a previous video we configured those uh drives and we had to make a change to the input output section of our drive to make it a normally closed connection so if you need to see how to do that just go back to the previous video in this series all right let's hook this up All right, let's look at the connections. So just like it's shown on the diagram, we're going to use input five. And I had a lot of brown wire laying around, so I'm going to use brown for this. It's not a color I use very often. And you'll see what we did here, if I can, let me see if I can zoom in on this so you can see it. What we have here is the brown wire coming in to the alarm positive. And then we have another brown wire coming out, jumping over here to the second drive, and that's just going to the alarm positive. And then we have a negative wire, a black wire, going all the way back up here, underneath our uh, same old common just like it's called out. You notice I have several wires now coming in here to this one common. So once again, just for clarity, we have the brown wire coming out of input five, feeding down into alarm positive. And then from alarm negative, we're jumping over to the second drive, wired into the alarm positive and then we're, we're taking alarm negative all the way over here to common. 
Now when you do that, you're ready to configure the setup wizard. And what you have to do is make sure that you pick drive OK for input number 5. And it's a normally closed connection. And that is pretty much it. So let's write those settings. And now we'll open up CNC 12. So CNC 12 is open. And I'll just do a reset here to uh, clear it. Now, right now, I can, I can jog my motors. Everything is happy. Matter of fact, I can hit cycle start on the uh, pawn program. And that's basically running this program. And you'll see our, our motors, oh, waiting for a tool change. Okay, there we go, it's running. So our motors are spinning, everything's turning, thinks it's running a program. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate a fault by pulling off the uh, encoder cable. So I'm going to pull it off, right? The alarm just faulted out, or the drive just faulted out. And what happened is it threw a drive fault error. And that's exactly what you want to have happen. The program just stops. It's not running anymore. Everything is in a safe condition. You're not going to crash your machine. So there you go. There is the drive OK circuit on the Centroid Acorn.